okay that's for the lab in this lab you will learn the following task network footprinting packet sniffing so first we are going to see network footprinting so I have already opened my Kali, Kali Linux machine so I'm going to open nmap tool so which is very powerful one so we are going to uh, see the network I mean the net uh, going to scan all the open ports in the networks how, how can we do So this will bring all the data. The, the, it will scan all the whole network and uh, give the result. So I have already uh, scanned, already saved my save the result here because it will take some time to gather the information. So what I'm going to do is, so I open the leaf pads and then open, which I already saved on my machine. So you can see all the scan, uh, the port is open, what, which port is open. So we're going to see the target machines. So what uh, port is open or closed, we're going to see this. no match so let's see okay there you go 192 168.27.18 so you can see this uh, which port is open so this is the machines uh, have turned on so now we're going to identify the operating system operating system versions and uh, you know to send scan TCP port using sync packet type so there is a command a small typo it's not is a it's not a old oh, it's a numeric is a zero capital zero is operating systems so once I enter it will take some time okay it's completed now so now we go on a check the what operating system target machine you can see 192.168.27.8 yeah this is my machine so you can see so the Microsoft operating system Windows 10 so information can see here the OS details Windows 10 so the next one is a Zen map so GUI is how, how you going how we can check using GUI Zen map so why while the column in machine uh, is, is turned on so when you when I click a uh, Zen map so I just open this so I'm going back my windows uh, windows 10 machines so let let's let me open now windows 10 machine so run as
administrator so I open that Wireshark run as administrator then Ethernet so which I connected now you can also open through the settings from Wireshark's you know the capture field there so there is a click option so you can see all the current Ethernet or Wi-Fi is connected on the machine so you can also do that so once you have selected here you the start button you will open the start button you have to click this uh, select the start button so it, it will then start scanning the Zen map application you have to go back then the Kali Linux machine to see the so I open the Zen map on my calling Kali Linux machine so uh, I have to enter the target click the target and then enter the target IP after that click scan so you will see the scanning result in the through the GUI mode so the GUI also is very useful when when you are not familiar with the uh, uh, command I mean the terminal the commands so the GUI is also very useful so you can see all the information here so wait for some time so once the scan is completed we go, uh, I can go back to the Windows 10 machine so you will see so what is connected you know the scan is completed now the scan is completed now so now I go back my Windows 10 machine so the Windows 10 machine you can see here the capture stop button here so you have to stop then type TCP on the search field and then click enter the blue button or press enter button so just scroll up scroll up little bit and try to find the IP 192.168 you know one uh, 192.168.27.18 refer to the vulnerable host destination is a uh, 192.168.0.3 so So can we find anything? Yeah. So 192.168.27.18 is the source and destination. So this is the one. So the 192.168.27.18 is refers to the vulnerability vulnerable vulnerable host. So this one is refers to the Kali. 192.168.0.3 is refers to the Kali machine. So when the Zen, uh, Zen map port scans was run against the vulnerable host or network applications will reply to the sync or acknowledge sequence uh, sequence and acknowledgements so packet. So when connections is made to it. So the Zen Zen map tools will send the reset to tears down the connection. Okay, let's say if uh, if if you want to if you want to scan the whole network or uh, click the target box target field on on Zen map twenty four so this is th this will help to scan the whole network so the scan started here so this will scan Available host in the mentioned 
uh, networks so 192.168.27.0 so this will find uh, f this will scan available hosts in the mentioned network ID uh, so this will take a few minutes to complete you know so I have to wait for some time still scanning so once the scans completed so you can uh, click the, the targeted 192.168.27.18 so uh, once once the scan is completed so we can view the details about the host I think the scan is still completing still going on so let me double check to see the so once you click this so you will see the topology once you click this the topology uh, you have to select this target host and topology and then fish I so it will take so because it's still scanning so that's why it's not showing properly so I have to wait for some time okay so I think it's completed so operating systems the code scans everything is you can click here host details so you can find all the the port used open port and closed ports so everything so in the topology you can see the fish view uh, fish eye so the local host and then vulnerable host so everything you can you can see here the fish view so that's it for footprinting so we will see we will we will gonna see the packet filtering the packet sniffing what is pa uh, what we are going to uh, cover this so what the tool uh, is what the tool uh, how can we use the how can we use the tool so the tool normally the capture uh, unicast packet sent to the host and broadcast packets on the same subnet so the pro the, the most widely used is Wireshark which is bundled with the uh, Kali Linux. This is a simply uh, protocol analyzer tool. So you can use for protocol analyzer. You know. So first we need to open Wireshark, uh, open the Windows machines and then Wireshark. So in the Wireshark, open file, open, and then I have already scanned you can see the folders I have already scanned uh, the file the captured file you're going to see that after that so there is the network captures which I already done. So we have now clear the filter. So there is there is no filter. So it's very uh, it's clear already. So now we are going to uh, check the conversion statistics conversions now. So IP version 4, 15. So these fields in this section, in this page, shows the device which are communicating on the networks. We can see that 192.168.27.18 uh, is having quite a few conversation with the various address on the network. You see here. So there is a few IPs. So then, after that, you have to just scroll down. So there's nothing. So then, uh, TCP six, uh, this tab, TCP is 62. 
So here we can see the same device has traffic following uh, flow traffic flowing in sequence from port 60251. So you can see here. See right. So it's mainly with uh, it's, uh it's the port is 60251 between 60296. It's mainly with the uh, uh, 192.168.27.12 on port 162 so this is how we can use the pa packet sniffing so between the port IP address and port number okay that's it for uh, this lab guys please subscribe my channel press the bell button to get more update thank you Bye-bye.